weeknights at 6.30 on NBC 12. Weather Watch 12 with Devin Biggs, 5 to 7 a.m. Mornings are brighter with News Watch 12 today. Wake up from 5 to 7 with your morning news team. Jackie Smith, Kathleen Amanda Perez, and Devin Biggs. News Watch 12. Weather Watch 12 with Devin Biggs, 5 to 7 a.m. This week on Jeopardy. This is one of our closer games. Relive some of the best moments from this season. How much would you like to wager? 10400 With Tournament of Champions qualifiers Matt Amodio, Jonathan Fisher, and Tyler Rode competing in their original appearances. You are new Jeopardy champion. Congratulations. And two great players who earned their spot in the first ever second chance competition this week. Jeopardy weekdays at 430 on NBC 12. You're watching News Watch 12 news from where you live. People are going to need a lot of help. We're going to need more resources than have come in to this fund right now for five months uh, from that. Right now on News Watch 12 today, Kentucky calls out for help as it tries to recover from devastating flooding. Plus, after thunderstorms yesterday morning, it's a much calmer start to the day. Your full forecast is coming up. And Wisconsin Elections Commission keeps 2016 guidance concerning the handling of its ballots. It's Thursday, August 4th. Your local news and weather from where you live. News Watch 12 Today starts now. Good morning and thank you for starting your day with us. I'm Jackie Smith. And I'm Kathleen Amanda Perez. We're we'll just hop right into weather. I know yesterday we had some rocky weather going in like the night, not last night, but the night before. Storms, a little bit of storms mm -hmm. in the morning. Uh, obviously a good transition. We're out of that. So obviously Devin's the one to take us away and bring us the good weather. Yeah, if you're Devin in the Weather Center, Devin, can you give us a little insight of what our weather's going to look like today? Yeah, it's going to be a beautiful day. If you're looking for excuses to get outside, today is that day to do it. We have plenty of nice weather on the way today. The sun's starting to rise already. Maybe a little bit of the stars still showing up there. I wonder if that might be a planet, too. We can get into a little bit of an astronomy lesson there. But otherwise, it'll look pretty nice out there this morning either way. And we'll start seeing the sun going over the horizon within the next little while. Meanwhile, though, here we are. So everything's looking pretty clear clear out there right now after we had a system move through and we're kind of in between which is kind of the best area for those that want calmer weather a lot of the fanfare this morning is actually in parts of Missouri and southern Illinois seeing more showers and thunderstorms and yes more flash flood warnings for those areas as well temperatures right now are not too bad out there a little cooler out there of course with the lower dew points and of course air temperatures in the 50s as well even with some 60s over in parts of Wausau this morning and the winds are not too bad it's kind of all over the place some areas mainly out of the north and out of the west in some spots at about five miles per hour or less. As you head out the door today, it's going to be a pretty nice one. Lower 80s are on the way today, not as humid with a lot of sunshine on the way. On Wednesday, the community of Stillwater, Minnesota held a vigil for a teenage stabbing victim who died on Saturday. Hundreds of people came out to support 17-year-old Isaac Schumann's family at the Oak Glen Country Club golf course near Schumann's home. Schumann and four others were stabbed while tubing on the Apple River near Somerset, Wisconsin. 52-year-old Nicolay Mew has been charged in the stabbing. Mew says he was acting in self-defense. The other four victims survived. Former Vice President Mike Pence is backing Rebecca Clayfish for governor. Pence campaigned for Clayfish in Pewaukee yesterday at a law enforcement roundtable. If elected, she is calling for hiring 1,000 more police officers, instituting minimum bail amounts for violent crimes, and adding more police to schools. I'm here for one reason and one reason only, and that is that Wisconsin and America need Rebecca Clayfish to be the next governor of the great state of Wisconsin. Whoever wins the Republican primary on August 9th will face Governor Tony Evers in the November election. We'll have more on Pence's visit to Wisconsin coming up at 5.30. And Senator Ron Johnson is cracking down on the number of unmanned aircraft systems or drones in the U.S. He is working on a bill that would protect communities from UAS. On Wednesday, it was advanced by the Senate Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Committee and now moves to the full Senate for consideration. Senator Johnson says the bill would help fight the growing threat of criminal drone activity. The FAA estimates that by 2024, 2.3 million UAS will be registered to fly in the U.S. airspace. And Senator Ron Johnson believes Medicare and Social Security should be subjected to annual budget debate. 
It's a move that could upend guaranteed benefits that millions of Americans rely on. In a radio interview on Tuesday, Johnson was asked about the PACT Act in a controversy over discretionary versus mandatory spending. Johnson says he seeks to turn everything in the federal budget into discretionary spending, including Social Security and Medicare, so that programs can be evaluated and fixed. Last year, Johnson called Social Security a Ponzi scheme and called for a raise in retirement age for people to be eligible for benefits. Wisconsin election officials have decided not to pass charges against a man who openly committed voter fraud. It's an update to a story we brought you last week. Harry Waite is a president of the self-described watchdog group Hot Government. He was told that there were vulnerabilities in the online WEC voting system, so he tested it by ordering ballots for the mayor of Racine and the Speaker of Wisconsin Assembly. Waite recorded himself ordering 10 absentee ballots for other people and had it shipped to his home. The Election Commission decided that they can't ask prosecutors to charge Waite until someone files a complaint against him. The commissioner proposed asking staff to come up with ways to make it harder to access the My Vote website. The Wisconsin Elections Commission is keeping a controversial 2016 guidance. On Tuesday, the Election Commission considered rescinding guidance that allowed clerks to fill in missing witness addresses information on absentee ballot envelopes without contacting the witness or the voter. That guidance drew criticism from Republican legislators who are concerned about election security. The commission was deadlocked on repealing a 2016 guidance, which means it will remain in place. Historic floods didn't just destroy homes in eastern Kentucky. They also damaged schools, government buildings, and businesses. Amy Colley reports that's making it hard for people in some areas to access basic goods and services. Everywhere you look, there's trees, there's power lines down, there's remnants of houses. Picking up the pieces in flood-ravaged Kentucky means more than rebuilding homes. We have insurance, but not flood insurance. Some essential businesses are shuttered. This grocery store is the only one in the rural community of Isom. Its owner vows to reopen. For access to medicine, the governor's letting pharmacies dispense some emergency refills. People are going to need a lot of help. We're going to need more resources than have come in to this fund right now for or five months uh, from now. The State Department of Education says it expects 11 districts in seven counties to delay the start of school. It had been set for next week. Some first responder facilities are damaged too. The fire chief who owns this truck says he was in it and parked at the fire station when floodwaters rose. I reached and found my pistol in the back seat and I shot the window out of my, my Chevy. Even buildings that are intact might not have power, all while a heat wave sweeps the state. And some people might not rebuild at all. If they didn't have flood insurance or FEMA or something like that, you know, steps in to actually help. This is the end of the line for this community. I'm Amy Kiley reporting. Coming up in international news, Amnesty International accuses Ukraine of war crimes. And a volcano has erupted near Iceland's capital after days of earthquake activity. These stories and more news from around the world when we come back. Save the date, Friday, August 5th from 10 till 2 p.m. Advanced Welding Institute in Eagle River is having an open house. Music, food, and beverages. Meet our instructors, staff, and students. Huge auction in Aqua, Wisconsin. Ford Mustang, Mercedes, Willys, Jeepster, Ford Truck, Antiques, Sporting Goods, and more. Contact Grass and St. Louis Auctions for more details. Come join the fun at the Saner Street Fair, Sunday, August 7th from 10 to 4, featuring arts and crafts show, food, touch a truck, and kids' activities. Live music from two bands. Need a new boat? Then it's time to trade and upgrade with Alumacraft Boats in American Marine and Motorsports because we need your old one. We need to buy fishing boats, pontoons, and speed boats. So trade in your old one and upgrade into a new Alumacraft boat today. Come check out our huge selection. Or we could help you get top dollar by selling your old boat on consignment. It's time to trade and upgrade with Alumacraft Boats in American Marine and Motorsports. Shano. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm Allie. And this is our family from Shoulders RV and Marine. If this year's taught us anything, we believe it's taught us we need to get back to the good old days of enjoying the outdoors, camping, boating, and buying from small businesses. Here at Shoulders RV and Marine, we happen to check all of those boxes. Next time you're in the market for a dock or lift, 
boat, camper, power sports, or nearly anything outdoors, sales, rentals, parts, or service, we'd love you to think of us. Shoulders RV and Marine, across from Menards, Ryan Manor. Today it seems everyone can be their own service technician thanks to the internet. From servicing their own cars and engines to home remodels and projects, people are trying a little of everything. Here at Maher Water Corporation, we employ nationally certified and factory trained technicians to keep your water treatment systems working to their full lives. We will treat you like our own family. So if you want us to service your equipment, give us a call. But if you're the fix it yourself kind of person, we'll enjoy your funny video clips. Welcome back. A nice start across the north woods this morning. We have no clouds in the sky, so we're just waiting for the sun to rise. It's going to be a beautiful day around here. The flags really aren't moving in downtown right later this morning, which helps to show not much of a wind out there either. But look at this view. We're going to be watching a sky cam again this morning for another beautiful sunrise here. We get these nice sunrises, of course. We get into this time of the year, so it's always fun to be able to show these. So we'll be watching for this one coming up later this morning. Otherwise, though, again, the satellite imagery is clear, high pressure right nearby, which means some very nice weather and not very humid either. So, of course, not much over us at this point. High pressures are soft toward the west. I'll be moving in. All the fanfare and pretty much a good part of it that's nearest to us is actually in parts of Missouri and Illinois this morning. We're seeing more storms again. And, yes, they prompted flash flood warnings again because there's plenty of moisture for this cold front to work with. Those temperatures right now for us, so more refreshing out there this morning. We were in the 50s in Land Lakes and Eagle River. Pretty much everyone's in the 50s this morning except for a few spots like Wausau and Marshall field in the lower 60s. Our average high is at 79 degrees. We'll shoot for the lower 80s today. Middle 80s by Friday and the Saturday is a little bit warmer, a little bit more humid as we start the weekend too. A sharp cool down though by Sunday to the lower 70s. Some question marks about maybe some 60s, but for now we're sticking with the lower 70s. The middle 70s by Monday, then back up into the 80s again as we head towards Tuesday and the Wednesday. And the dew points, yes, they are down finally. They're in the 50s. This is considered more comfortable. Even some 40s further off toward the west. And those dew points will be fine moving forward to so we don't have to worry about to worry about those for the next couple of days, but by Saturday and a Sunday, we'll see these dew points rising again, possibly getting close to the 70s in a few spots before a sharp drop off late Sunday and then parts of Monday and the Tuesday. All right, those winds are not too bad either. They're kind of all over the place, a little bit out of the north, a little bit to the west. Some at zero, some at around five miles per hour. But again, your UV index forecast for today, as you do think about going outside for this beautiful day, again, a lot, it's going to be high, very high. A bird time of around 15 minutes, so hats, sunglasses, sunscreen, shade will be necessary as you do out the door to avoid a bad sunburn and of course the wind will not be a big deal today either so overall today a mostly sunny sky there might be a little bit of fog out there this morning that's what that little area you saw earlier was so any fog you're noticing this morning will be getting out of here pretty quickly we'll remain mostly clear later on tonight maybe more patchy fog in a few spots again then by Friday morning, another nice start with a lot of sunshine on the way. But the pattern will change as we head towards Saturday as our next system starts to approach with more clouds on the way to at least start things off for a Saturday. So a forecast for today called mostly sunny and just awesome, right? We'll have highs in the lower 80s. The north breeze only at about 5 miles per hour. Later on tonight, though, mostly clear. It'll be quiet out there with lows in the middle 50s and the wind overall looking nice and calm. And the Northwoods Furniture and Mattress. Seven-day forecast Friday is nice. A little bit warmer, though. With the middle 80s, those dew points will begin to rise as well. We have storms Saturday and Sunday. I know perfect timing, right? As I say, sarcastically, as we do have storms on the way for the weekend. A little bit more humid. Then by next week, though, starting to look better. Partly cloudy and a mixture of some sunshine in a few spots. And temperatures in the 70s and 80s. Amnesty International has accused Ukraine of war crimes during its ongoing military conflict with invading Russian forces. The humanitarian organization said in a release on Wednesday that the Ukrainian military's tactics violate international humanitarian law and endanger civilians. They cite that the military is operating weapons out of bases established in residential areas while civilians are present. They ask that Ukraine distinguish between military objectives and civilian objects and immediately stop operating out of civilian populated areas. Amnesty International went on to say that militaries should never use hospitals to engage in warfare. Furthermore, they should only use schools or civilian homes as a last resort when there are no viable alternatives. 
A volcano has erupted on a mountain near Iceland's capital after days of rising earthquake activity in the area. Tourists and residents were told to avoid the area due to poisonous gases, although there was no immediate risk of damage to critical infrastructure. In March last year, lava fountains erupted spectacularly in the area from a fissure. 1,640 to 2,460 feet long, continuing until September and attracting thousands of Icelanders and tourists to the scene. Located between the Eurasian and the North American tectonic plates, it, among the planet, Iceland frequently experiences many earthquakes and has high volcanic activity as the two plates move in opposite directions. A major fireworks festival in Nagoya, central Japan, took place for the first time in three years. Organizers took measures against the coronavirus, including not setting up free seats. They had all spectators pay to watch the fire for fireworks. The fireworks festival began in 1946 as an event to mourn the deceased of World War II. Besides fireworks, portable shrine and float parades, folk dance processions, and floating paper lanterns down the river are also major events at the festival. The two-day event is one of the three largest fireworks festivals in Japan, attended by roughly a million people every year. Coming up in medical news, details from a recent study about the effects of cannabis on menopause. Plus, new guidance about COVID is expected soon from the CDC. We'll have these stories and more health news when we return. Tony Evers tried to raise Wisconsin's gas tax and pushed automatic yearly gas tax increases. And Tim Michaels, his company bankrolled a special interest, pushing for Evers gas tax hikes. Michaels spent years as a leader of a special interest group that supported the Democrats' plans for higher gas taxes. And Michaels' company backed a special interest group that even attacked Scott Walker and Rebecca Clayfish's union reforms. Special interests, higher taxes, that's the real Tim Michaels. Hi, I'm Dr. Justin Sheridisi with the Spinal Aid Center of Wausau. Are you one of the millions of people suffering with the symptoms of peripheral neuropathy? Your symptoms may include numbness and tingling in your feet or hands, difficulty sleeping from leg or foot discomfort, and debilitating balance problems. I have good news for you. You can now get relief with our breakthrough treatment method without the use of drugs or surgery. Our treatments help to heal damaged nerves that cause peripheral neuropathy. If left untreated, you may eventually end up with a walker or wheelchair, so don't delay. Call our office now to schedule an appointment to see if our treatment methods are right for you. We will do a painless neuropathy severity exam to determine the amount of nerve loss. If you qualify for our treatment, you can truly change your life. Start living your life pain-free. Call today. Jury. Live under the stars, Steve Ajuri. Doors open at six. Show starts at eight. Don't miss Steve Ajuri. Exclusively at Ho Chunk Gaming Wittenberg. Must be 21 or over to attend. Some of that patchy fog out there this morning might make it tricky to see in a few spots. So some areas down to about a half mile or so. It's very hit and miss. So if you do encounter some of that, turn your low beam lights or your fog lights on until you clear that fog. Jackie? Thank you, Devin. More and more women are turning to cannabis to relieve symptoms caused by menopause. Researchers conducted a study involving more than 250 premenopausal and postmenopausal women. They found that 86% of those women use cannabis as an adjunct treatment for menopause-related symptoms. Just over 84% of those women used the mode of smoking the drug, while over 78% consumed it by way of edibles. Cannabis use was found to be more common among premenopausal women who had worse menopause symptoms, especially stress. 
and the Center for Disease Control and Prevention is expected to update its COVID-19 guidance. CNN obtained a preview of the plans, which could be released as early as this week. The agency is set to ease quarantine recommendations for unvaccinated people exposed to the virus. Instead of staying home for five days, they can go out with a mask and test themselves at least five days after exposure. Those with symptoms should continue to isolate. The agency is also planning to de-emphasize six feet of social distancing and regular testing in schools. These changes are still being discussed among experts. There are more than 5,800 probable or confirmed cases of monkeypox across the U.S. It spreads through close contact and with school getting underway, there's concerns that monkeypox could spread in classrooms. In today's Health Minute, Mandy Gaither has more on what health experts say should be done now to protect students. Across the U.S., cases of monkeypox continue to climb. Now a concern over the virus in schools. Monkeypox transmits when people are in close personal contact. And kids in small classrooms, particularly with bad ventilation, as many classrooms are, are at risk. The CDC says monkeypox is spread through close personal, often skin-to-skin -skin contact, which includes direct physical touch with rash, scabs, or body fluids from someone infected through mucus and by touching objects or fabrics that someone with the virus has used. There is a risk that this is carried in what's called fomites, which are inanimate objects. Uh, toilet seats, if you want to say that, you know, but basically bedding, sheets, things like that. <laughs> Health experts say schools, districts, as well as colleges and universities should plan now on what to do about monkeypox and keep cleanliness a top priority. Chairs and desks need to be cleaned. I don't see how you're going to prevent uh, kids from, from touching each other. So that is a big question. I unfortunately don't have an answer. The CDC says scientists are still studying if the virus can be spread when someone has no symptoms, how often the virus is spread through respiratory droplets, or if a person with monkeypox symptoms might be more likely to spread the virus that way. They're also looking into whether the virus spreads through things like urine or feces. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. Coming up in the next half hour, bird callers from across the state and beyond go head to head competing for the best loon call. And shoppers pack downtown Rhinelander, shopping for ridiculous day bargains. Stay with us. These stories and more are coming up after the break. Wickersham Jewelry is excited to announce their 2022 Wedding Band Expo. Three days only, August 10th through the 12th. With incredible savings of 20% on the area's largest selection of wedding bands and anniversary rings. Save 20% on the exclusive Love Story collection. Wedding rings starting at only $199. Take advantage of interest-free financing options. Wickersham Jewelry. If you can dream it, we can make it. Let's dive in to Lake Manaqua for an evening showing of the great outdoors, August 13th at Torpy Park. Watch the movie from on land by boat or float in the water. Pre-show beach party starts at 5.30 p.m. For ticket and event information, visit letsmanaqua.com slash dive in. If you're a contractor or do-it-yourselfer, make Argon Lumber your first stop. High-quality materials, personalized service, expert staff, and delivery are just some of the things Argon Lumber is known for. Stop in and smell the lumber at Argon Lumber, two locations in Argon and Rhinelander. If you like to drive and you enjoy telling people about how much fun it is behind the wheel of some of the hottest and coolest vehicles on the road today, you should look into a sales position at Kasurik Automotive. It's satisfying in so many ways, and Kasurik is well known for turning it into a well-paid, rewarding career, not just a job. If that fits who you are, or if you've always thought you might be really good at it, we're ready to help you discover that potential. Start your adventure at KasurikCareers.com. Stony Creek Home and Garden in Minocqua carries a great selection of stylish and extremely durable outdoor furniture. View the finest brands such as Lloyd Flanders, Hollywood, Ebel, Jensen, Seaside Casual, and Jensen Outdoor and at competitive prices. Create the outdoor room of your dreams. Liven up your home with flowers, trees, shrubs, ceramic planters, and many more greenhouse wonders. View Stony Creek Home and Garden's unique items just south of Minocqua on Highway 51. Visit Lac de Flambeau, experience culture, shopping, treats, and relaxation. Look over the native arts, beadwork, fabrics, native food catering, delicious ice cream and coffee blends, or treat yourself to a manicure. 
While you are in town, visit the Four Season Exhibit at the Ojibwe Museum and Culture Center. Experience the outdoors at the Lac de Flambeau Campground with access to the beautiful Lac de Flambeau Chain of Lakes. Contact the Lac de Flambeau Chamber of Commerce and enjoy the hospitality. Come and refresh your spirit. Welcome back. Firefighters from the Stephen Points Fire Department are ready to fire up their annual Fill the Boot campaign. They'll be raising money for Muscular Dystrophy Association on August 11th and 12th at the intersections of Clark and Division Streets and Main and Division Streets. They'll be collecting donations at those locations from 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. each day. Last year, they raised more than $16,000. This year, their goal is $18,000. If you'd like to donate but can't make it out, visit StephenPointsFirefighters.org to donate. And one town here in the Northwoods calls itself the loon capital of the world. On Wednesday, Mercer welcomed visitors for the annual loon calling competition. Different age groups gathered on the stage and gave their best call, imitating the iconic bird. Newswatch 12's Matt Weaver has the story. They're majestic and we love them and listen to them all the time. For the last 35 years, the loon capital of the world has welcomed people to compete in the calling of the bird. They really practice, I think. They really do practice outside of the loon day. That's exciting to know they take it serious. Up north in the summer, there are usually two loons per lake making calls during the night. Across several age divisions, contestants show off their vocal range to mimic the sound. I call out to the loons, and then they actually come looking for me, and they come closer to me, and they call back. It's an event that draws thousands to the town. One of the families there came all the way from Hawaii. I was just hoping that I could make a sound using my hands and, and not totally fail. And uh, I was a little nervous because the people ahead of me were just full-on professionals. In Mercer, Matt Weaver, Newswatch 12. You know, I haven't heard a loon, like, call yet, so I'm just going to assume that everything we heard in there was accurate. Uh, <laughs> I'm assuming I'm no loon expert, but um, it seems like they were spot on. If I was a loon, I'd go to them. <laughs> of course, why not? But hopefully the loons have some nice weather outside. We have Devin on the weather deck to give us a little insight. Devin, if the loons are going to be out there, are they going to be happy with what they're feeling? <laughs> I think they'll be happy with that. And those calls are actually pretty close to what an actual loon sounds like. I've been privileged to hear some of the loons singing. So definitely, if you hear one, it's definitely very cool. So hopefully we'll be able to encounter some of them. Hopefully from a distance, though, because I obviously want to keep giving them their space. But otherwise, so temperatures right now are in the 50s, upper 50s in Rylander, lower 50s in Eagle River, lower 60s in Wausau. A little bit of fog in a few spots this morning. Be careful with that. Radar and satellite showing things very peaceful for us now. Nothing going on in our neck of the woods as we have high pressure moving in from the west to the east. We'll zoom this map out now and really have to look further down toward the south where the cold front is and especially parts of Missouri now and areas to the south there for showers and storms that are developing there. And of course, more flash flooding taking place there too. But for us, we're looking pretty good. The travel forecast moving forward, though, not too bad. It's going to be warm, not bad. Dew points will be lower. We'll see dew temperatures in the 80s today across the western parts of the state. We'll see a lot of sunshine as well today. Temperatures reaching for the lower 80s. We'll also see the lower 80s in Green Bay and Iron Mountain. But further down to the south, not too bad either. This whole state's looking pretty good with temperatures in the 70s and 80s. A little more coming up after the break. And my economic plan is moving this country in a better direction. What planet is he living on? Record gas prices, 40-year high inflation, costing families five grand more for their necessities. Sorry, Joe, that's the wrong direction. Here on planet Earth, Senator Johnson voted against Biden's massive deficit spending that sparked inflation. And he passed tax cuts to help Wisconsin families survive the economic turmoil caused by Democrats. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. Four years ago, I had brain surgery to remove the tumor that was wrapped around my brain stem and spinal cord. Very intense pain in my neck, I, headaches all the time, um, and permanent vertigo. I came in and I saw Dr. Dave. He did some work on my top vertebrae. The pressure was alleviated and I can actually stand. It's been wonderful and great. When the 
atlas vertebra at the base of the skull is out of alignment, it causes the head to come forward, putting unnatural pressure on joints and nerves. We correct this through a new treatment called the atlas prophylax, a revolutionary way to realign the atlas, removing nerve pressure and even restoring blood flow. For many, symptoms and headaches disappear almost immediately. The first thing we do when somebody comes as a new patient is we sit down and we listen and understand what's going on to see if we can help. Need a new boat? Then it's time to trade and upgrade with Alumacraft Boats in American Marine and Motorsports because we need your old one. We need to buy fishing boats, pontoons, and speed boats. So trade in your old one and upgrade into a new Alumacraft boat today. Come check out our huge selection. Or we could help you get top dollar by selling your old boat on consignment. It's time to trade and upgrade with Alumacraft Boats in American Marine and Motorsports. Shawno. You're watching News Watch 12 today with Jackie Smith, Kathleen Amanda Perez, and Devin Biggs. Good morning. Thanks for waking up with us today. It is August 4th. A week after endorsing her for the Republican slot in the Wisconsin governor's race, former Vice President Mike Pence joined Rebecca Clayfish in Pewaukee on Wednesday. The two were joined by former Governor Scott Walker for a roundtable event with less than a week to go before the primary election. Colton Molesky from our Madison affiliate has more. It's, it's super important. I am thrilled that he is here today. Six days before the primary election, former Vice President Mike Pence made a trip to Wisconsin. I'm here for one reason and one reason only. And that is that Wisconsin and America need Rebecca Clayfish to be the next governor of the great state of Wisconsin. At a law enforcement roundtable Wednesday, he backed Rebecca Clayfish, one of the Republican candidates running for governor. And I am confident the people of Wisconsin know that your next governor needs to be a proven conservative who has stood in the pocket for Wisconsin in the past, and that's Rebecca Clayfish. Joining him, the man who served as governor when Clayfish was lieutenant governor, Scott Walker, who also offered his endorsement. I want to first off just say more than anything with, with a large audience here, my wife, Tonette, and I are 100 percent behind Rebecca Clayfish for governor of the great state of Wisconsin. The backing from Pence comes just days before former President Donald Trump plans to endorse the other Republican running for governor, Tim Michaels. Despite the previous administration backing separate candidates, Clayfish says the party ultimately belongs to the people. I think this is the Republican Party of the people, and it forever will be. And I'm proud to be a Wisconsin Republican where this party was founded. Clayfish's strongest opponent in the Republican gubernatorial primary, Tim Michaels, is endorsed by former President Donald Trump. Trump will be in Wisconsin hosting a rally from Michaels on Friday in Waukesha. And then moving along to the weather, I think we're going to have a very fortunate week this week after a little bumpy start like Monday got going into Tuesday. So we have Devin in the Weather Center to give us a little more update on what today is going to look like. Yeah, and it's a beautiful start already, though. It's cool. It's very quiet out there. It's finally, right? I know mm -hmm. yesterday was very stormy, and this is a nice start, right? We're seeing a lot of sunshine and maybe some clouds in the distance. And yes, we were watching for a little bit of patchy fog in a few areas this morning. It's very hit and miss, but it may cause you to have a tricky time seeing in a few spots. So keep those little beams or those fog lights ready to go, though. But man, look at this. We haven't had a nice picture like this in a little bit, though. All the rain yesterday was very beneficial, too. We definitely needed that. Otherwise, though, here we are. The cold front is dragging out towards the east and a little bit to the south. We're allowed the fanfare with any precipitation. It's across parts of Missouri where they're seeing more showers and storms this morning. Parts of Illinois, too. And yes, there's more flash flood warnings up for a few areas there. Temperatures right now, not too bad out there. We're in the 50s right now. Middle 50s in Land O'Lakes, lower 50s in Eagle River, upper 50s in Rylander with some lower 60s over in parts of Wausau. A perfect day to go hiking. So let's see how nice it will be. Temperatures starting off in the 60s and in a few 50s. And we'll finish off in the 80s with a lot of sunshine and lower humidity. Get outside and enjoy it. Evan Potter Wells, a fourth grade teacher at Riverside Elementary in the D.C. Everest School District, has been named the 2022 Wisconsin History Teacher of the Year. This is an award presented annually by the Gilder Lerman Institute of American History, the nation's leading organization dedicated to K-12 American history education. Mr. Potter Wells is a UW Stevens Point alumni and strives to bring Wisconsin history to life for his students. The winner of this year's National History Teacher of the Year Award will be announced in October. October 2022.
Wisconsin Public Education Network announced on Tuesday that Jennifer Black of Tomahawk has been named its 2022 Changemaker of the Year. Black founded and chaired a community advisory committee, the Champions of Tomahawk School District, to support referendum efforts earlier this year. Black is the fourth recipient of the annual award, which recognizes local advocates who make a transformative impact for students in their public schools. Black was selected from a group of nine finalists working to support students across the state. Each year, businesses in Rhinelander hold Ridiculous Day, where deals can be found on all types of merchandise. If you're wondering about the silly spelling of the name of the event, it's spelled that way because it's just plain ridiculous to do it that way. Rhinelander's Brown Street in downtown was packed with shoppers looking to get some of those good deals. Business owner Zach Hext of Magic Man Games says that the day of ridiculous sales is a good way to get people to shop locally. It's nice to see a lot of foot traffic, it gets the community involved, it also gets more visibility for us as the business owners. Um, it's one where we get to kind of show and showcase what we are, what we do, what we've got, and allow people to see, you know, what our business is like. Magic Man Games moved to downtown earlier this year. Other business owners agree that the one-day event draws people to business, which fly under the radar. So you're going to find probably the best deals today, but maybe not. There's always great things in these downtown businesses and a lot of really interesting, good people and great stuff. Even though the day's deals are now over, they would both say that even without Ridiculous Day, there are plenty of other reasons to shop at the locally owned stores in Rhinelander all year round. The event was put on by the Rhinelander Area Chamber of Commerce. And I actually got to stop by and I know someone who runs a fried, like, or not fried, uh, air dried food, like mm -hmm. stand, and I spent a ridiculous amount of money on it. I bet. I bet you w walked away with a lot of treats, right? I or did you eat them all first? <laughs> Both. <laughs> I bet. Sounds really good. <laughs> well, coming up, we have some news you can use, including new information about Walmart's plans to downsize its corporate structure. And Equifax admits to a tech issue causing chaos for consumers. Those stories and more news coming up right after this. Northland Basement Systems is the all-things basement -y company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces, too. When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basement -y in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. Oh, great. My wireless bill just went up. Hmm. Should have gone with U.S. Cellular. They aren't raising prices on any of their plans. Seriously? Yeah, my price won't increase. Well, that is refreshing. I feel like everywhere you turn these days, prices are going up. Supply chain got us, too. Don't get me started on the overhead cost. At U.S. Cellular, every plan for everyone is price protected. You know, I respect a female entrepreneur. U.S. Cellular, where every plan is price protected. Saturday, August 27th, Ho-Chunk Gaming Wittenberg presents Journey, former lead vocalist Steve Ajuri. Those crazy nights, I do remember. Live, Under the Stars, Steve Ajuri. Doors open at 6, show starts at 8. Don't miss Steve Ajuri. Exclusively at Ho-Chunk Gaming Wittenberg. Must be 21 or over to attend. With Choice Hotels, there's always a reason to book it. Whatever your reason, save up to 20% when you book over 7,100 locations at choicehotels.com. Seven-day-old tuna casserole. How'd you know that? Even my nose is strong. You need Hefty Ultra Strong. It has arm and hammer, continuous odor control. Hefty, Hefty, Hefty. Oh, and uh, Toby needs a bath. Stay one step ahead of stink. And welcome back. It's a nice start across the Northwoods. This morning, things looking pretty good in Rylander. It looks like a little bit of a breeze now picking up according to the sky cam there. As you can see, the flags are moving a little bit there this morning. But a beautiful view from the sky cam just above the station here. It's looking more to the east, a little bit to the southeast again. With another beautiful sunrise there, a little bit of cloud cover in a few spots as well. It's farther off towards the east. But we are watching a little bit of fog in a few spots. Hit and miss this morning. Eagle River seeing us a little bit. Stay with Merrill. This will all go away as the sun rises. If you do encounter some of that, 
back, of course, have your low beams or your fog lights ready to go. So that way you can see and others can see you as you do drive. Do not use those high beams. But meanwhile, though, look at this. It's very quiet out here across the, pretty much the entire state of Wisconsin. And we have high pressure to thank for that. And we'll stay quiet all day long as high pressure moves in from the west to the east as the cold front sound tracked off towards the south and east, bringing storms to parts of Missouri and parts of Illinois, too. And yes, more flash flood warnings are in effect there. And as you can see, a lot of lighting with those storms as well. So probably a loud morning in those areas where the storms are going through. Those temperatures right now are in the upper 50s in Lando Lakes, lower 50s in Eagle River, upper 50s over in parts of Rhinelander, lower 60s over in parts of Wausau. Our average high is 79 degrees. We'll reach for the lower 80s today, middle 80s by Friday and Saturday. And by the weekend as well, becoming a little bit more humid than falling back in the lower 70s on Sunday with showers and thunderstorms passing through. Then a gradual warm up back into the 80s as we head towards Tuesday and Wednesday as well. All right, dew points are down. The more comfortable they will stay down for another day or so until we head towards Saturday. Then they'll rise again up into the 60s and they'll fall back a little bit by Sunday as more rain moves in. Then by Sunday, they'll rise again before they fall back and stay down as we head towards Monday and into parts of Tuesday. The winds are not too bad at all. A little bit of a light breeze in a few spots. Others are seeing up to 5 to 10 mile per hour sustained winds and these will stay down as well. As you do have the door today, your UV index forecast is at an 8 that's considered very high. A burn time of around 15 minutes, so hats, sunglasses, sunscreen, and shade will be necessary as you do have the door to avoid a bad summer. This will probably be the main focus today for doing any outdoor activities. Moving forward, though, future cash showing any fog that's developing this morning will be going away. We'll be under a mostly sunny sky today, a mostly clear sky tonight with a lot of sunshine on the way for the daytime tomorrow, but clouds start to move in later on as we head towards Saturday, though, as we'll be watching for more chances of precipitation that will be approaching as we head towards late Saturday afternoon and a parts of Saturday night with showers and thunderstorms moving in. And so we're going to stick around through most of Sunday before it tapers off as we head towards Monday, though. And some decent rain falling away. Again, I know we need the rain, though, and this looks to be a decent rainmaker that looks to be on the way with up to maybe an inch of, rain, of rainfall in a few areas before we're all finished up. We'll definitely make sure to keep it posted as this does develop a more beneficial rain on the way just in time for the weekend. But for today, it's beautiful, mostly sunny and awesome. Highs in the lower 80s at north wind getting up to about 5 miles per hour. Later on, sunny, mostly clear. Lows in the middle 50s and the wind overall looking nice and calm. And the Northwoods Furniture and Mattress, seven-day forecast. Storms move in just in time for the weekend. I know it's bad timing, but we do need the rain. Temperatures cooling off a little bit as we head towards Sunday. And a gradual warm-up as we head towards next week with a mixture of clouds and sunshine. A source says Walmart is laying off about 200 corporate employees. In a statement, the retail giant said it was updating its structure and evolving select roles. Walmart says it's still adding jobs in several areas, including e-commerce, advertising, and supply chain. Well, this comes just right after the company issued a warning about its profit outlook. Walmart says it expects customers to spend less in the coming months because of inflation. And a tech issue is to blame for millions of faulty credit scores being served up to Americans looking for a loan. Equifax admits inaccurate data was sent out during a three-week period earlier this year. These false credit scores resulted in some people getting higher interest rates and others being denied. Officials at Equifax say the coding issue that caused the problem is now resolved. Equifax handles credit information for more than 200 million consumers in the U.S. In 2017, Equifax was hacked, resulting in the leak of sensitive data for close to 150 million Americans. As travelers return to the skies in droves following a pandemic pause, airlines and airports across the world are grappling to meet demand. But are recession fears and soaring inflation impacting that travel boon? As consumers weigh airfare, hotel, and gas prices? In today's Consumer Watch, why the travel industry appears to be thriving amid a possible economic turndown. As the peak summer travel season winds down, travel experts say Americans are still spending money on their vacations, despite historic inflation and recession fears. While consumers are starting to pull back uh, on some discretionary spending, some things they don't have to spend money on, it's not holding true for travel. Several travel industry leaders say demand is still high. Scott Kay, is founder of the flight aggregator website Scott's Cheap Flights, points to several factors, including a rise in credit card travel spending. American Express uh, no noted that travel spending was up uh, nearly 150 percent in the, uh, the previous quarter. That's despite fears of an economic downturn on the horizon. Experts blame that on so-called revenge travel, the huge travel boom following years of lost vacations during a pandemic slump. 
Meanwhile, Airbnb says reservations are soaring. On Tuesday, the company announced a 24% increase in bookings in the three months that ended in June, compared to the same time period in 2019. And when it comes to hitting the road, gas prices are declining. On Wednesday, the U.S. national average price of a gallon of regular gas was $4.16, according to AAA. Compared to a month ago, that was $4.81. And experts say cheaper prices are ahead. While motorists may be incentivized by prices that have been falling, more decreases lie ahead. On Wednesday, OPEC, the world's oil exporting countries and its allies, agreed to a tiny increase in production next month amid fears that a global recession will hurt demand. For today's Consumer Watch, I'm Jen Sullivan. So we train with fire departments, EMS agencies, and law enforcement. And the big goal with this is to increase safety around the aircraft and to increase the effectiveness and streamline the response. Coming up at 6.30, Aspirus is working to make sure a local fire department is prepared for anything. We'll have more on this training and experts' efforts. Stay tuned. Guess who's making a splash? Here of Denord, of course. We make installing your dock easy enough for just one person, and you don't even have to get wet. With our piers, there's less maintenance, no rust, and no fuss, because we're factory direct. Made in St. Germain, come and visit us. It's Slumberland's anniversary sale, and to celebrate, we're stacking the deals. Buy any sofa or sectional and get 20% off your second purchase. Now for the stacking, get another 20% off both items. 20 plus another 20? Yep, and there's more. Buy any recliner or accent chair and get 20% off your second purchase. And stack an additional 20% off both items. Discounts? On top of discounts? Plus, we are still offering great special financing at Slumberland Furniture. Solomon's Log Home Restoration is your choice for log home maintenance, giving you a beautiful looking home. Sullivan's Log Home Restoration does their own milling and specializes in log replacements, sandblasting, pressure washing, painting and staining, and chinking. With more than 30 years of business, Sullivan's is dependable and trustworthy, carefully tending to every detail on your home. Call us today for your free on-site estimate. Sullivan's Log Home Restoration, serving Eagle River and the surrounding areas. Hi, I'm Dr. Justin Scherer, D.C. with the Spinal Aid Center of Wausau. Are you one of the millions of people suffering with the symptoms of peripheral neuropathy? Your symptoms may include numbness and tingling in your feet or hands, difficulty sleeping from leg or foot discomfort, and debilitating balance problems. I have good news for you. You can now get relief with our breakthrough treatment method without the use of drugs or surgery. Our treatments help to heal damaged nerves that cause peripheral neuropathy. If left untreated, you may eventually end up with a walker or wheelchair, so don't delay. Call our office now to schedule an appointment to see if our treatment methods are right for you. We will do a painless neuropathy severity exam to determine the amount of nerve loss. If you qualify for our treatment, it can truly change your life. Start living your life pain-free. Call today. Guess who's making a splash? Here of Denord, of course. We make installing your dock easy enough for just one person, and you don't even have to get wet. With our piers, there's less maintenance, no rust, and no fuss, because we're factory direct. Made in St. Germain, come and visit us. Welcome back. A bus driver in Green Bay, Wisconsin, went beyond the call of duty Tuesday to help a little boy in need. With her keen eye, the driver quickly saw the toddler was alone. She took him onto the bus and called authorities. The kind act was recorded on surveillance video. Casey Torres reports. It's more than just eyes on the road. Green Bay Metro Transit bus operators have public safety in mind. Operators are trained to be very observant and aware of all their surroundings. So a lot goes into it when they're moving down the road. That training kicked into high gear for one driver last Tuesday when a little boy ran across the street on the corner of Kingston Terrace and Princeton Place in Bellevue. A busy street just one block away in the direction he is heading. The bus driver was finishing up one of her final routes for the night at this bus stop. When she spotted the toddler walking all alone, she didn't hesitate to help. In this video, you see the driver, who declined an on-camera interview, bringing the boy into the bus around 6.30 p.m. We're going to find your mom and dad, okay? See if we can find out 
where they went. Did you wander away from the house? She continues asking questions and reassures the boy they'll find mom and dad. This goes on for about 10 minutes until law enforcement shows up. Hey, buddy. How are you? He doesn't seem to know a whole lot of you. He's just standing in the middle of the road here. The Brown County Sheriff's Office tells Action 2 News the boy was reunited with his mom. Green Bay Metro Transit's operations supervisor, Jake Lipto, is proud of the driver and says it's what they do. It just goes to show like, the great job that the drivers do in utilizing that training, being observant, um, aware of their surroundings, and uh, always willing to help out in any way that we can. You know, I'm so glad the story had a very safe ending. Bus drivers are amazing. They're definitely some unspoken of heroes. Oh, d definitely. The eyes and ears of parents when they're not on board, obviously. Mm -hmm. And so observant. But you know who else is observant? Our friend Devin at the weather desk. <laughs> we have Devin outside on the weather deck to give us a little more insight about if we're going to have a pretty good day, which I think we are. Yeah, it's safe to say we will have a great day today. We're waiting for the sun to rise. It's about to rise over the horizon now. So very shortly, as I try to see through the trees there, as it, obviously, as you know, the foliage is still there. So nice, beautiful landscape here in the Northwoods this morning. And temperatures that are in the 50s here in the Northwoods, upper 50s in Rylander, lower 50s in Merrill, and also in lower 60s in Wausau. So not too bad outside this morning. A lot more refreshing, not as humid. Radar and satellite is showing a very nice day. There's nothing over this high pressure is just off toward the west, so there's going to be a lot of sunshine today. It'll be easy to get sunburned, so definitely keep that sunscreen ready, too. Zooming things out, if you're looking for any precipitation, you're going to travel quite a ways. You have to travel all the way to the south and east by parts of Indiana, Illinois, Missouri, where showers and thunderstorms are developing in those areas this morning. And in parts of Missouri and Illinois, you have more flash flood warnings are being issued yet. Again, the travel forecast moving forward, so it'll be a nice one across the entire state with temperatures in the 80s and a lot of sunshine, especially in the western areas. For us as well, we'll be in the lower 80s with plenty of sunshine too, even 80 degrees over in parts of Green Bay. And further down toward the south, not too bad. We'll see 70s and 80s with plenty of sunshine. A little more coming up after the break. Is this the new phone? Yeah. With U.S. Cellular, I got to pick any phone that I wanted for free. And I was already a customer. Any brand? With any size? Mm -hmm. I got exactly what I wanted. Big screen, big storage. I cannot remember the last time I had so many different options. At U.S. Cellular, new and current customers can get any phone from any brand free. Are you actually texting one? I don't know. I Are just like thought I would just... U.S. Cellular, where every plan is price protected. Come to Lakeland Furniture and Mattress in Minocqua and meet me, Guy, the new owner. Same great location, plus added lines of furniture and accessories, including a large selection of outdoor furniture. Lakeland Furniture and Mattress, Highway 51 in Minocqua. Let's dive in to Lake Monaco for an evening showing of the great outdoors, August 13th at Torpy Park. Watch the movie from on land by boat or float in the water. Pre-show beach party starts at 5.30 p.m. For a ticket and event information, visit letsmonaco.com slash dive in. To the dentist. To the dentist. To the dentist. We're off to see the dentist, the most wonderful dentist of all. They are the whiz of all there is that has teeth involved. If ever a because, 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 because of the painless care that causes a buzz. We're off to see the dentist, the most wonderful dentist of all. Need a new boat? Then it's time to trade and upgrade with Alumacraft Boats in American Marine and Motorsports because we need your old one. We need to buy fishing boats, pontoons, and speed boats. So trade in your old one and upgrade into a new Alumacraft boat today. Come check out our huge selection. Or we could help you get top dollar by selling your old boat on consignment. It's time to trade and upgrade with Alumacraft Boats in American Marine and Motorsports. Shawno. You're watching News Watch 12 today with Jackie Smith, Kathleen Amanda Perez, and Devin Biggs.
Welcome back. Nearly 100 million people in the U.S. are under heat advisories across more than half of the country over the next three days. And from the southern plains to the northeast, northeast advisories are in effect on Thursday and Friday. And heat advisories also going to effect on noon Wednesday in parts of eastern Kentucky. Recovering from devastating deadly floods and heat indices there. Could approach 100 degrees and are expected to be made worse by lingering power outages. The first responders and residents there are particularly vulnerable to high heat index values of Wednesday afternoon through Thursday. And the heat is expected to be relatively short-lived with temperatures expected to return closer to average by Friday. So we got to get through this week again. No, it's going to be another mess out there with... Uh, Another heat wave is a cold front trying to approach, which will definitely help things out. But, of course, more fanfare, more flooding mm -hmm. with that front. And mm -hmm. this is not what places need right now. We've just been stuck in this pattern. It's either been too wet or too dry. It's too extremes. There's no middle ground. Yeah, uh, there's no winning. Yeah. Like, you're either, like, I think we've been very fortunate. Like, here in Wisconsin, we've been very fortunate with our weather. But, like, yes. everywhere around us, it's just... Yeah, we've been, we, we've been lucky here. I mean, I know it's been a little dry recently, but I know some areas saw inches of rain y yesterday, and some areas like here at the station, we only saw like up to six tenths when uh, mm -hmm. Brian had two rounds of storms that we saw. So definitely beneficial, and it looks like there's definitely more on the way, so we definitely need the precipitation. If you're in the hot area, drink water, and if you're in the flooding area, just stay safe. Mm -hmm. Do what you need to to keep yourself and your family and everyone you know, your animals, everyone protected from these extreme weathers. Yeah, and hopefully, hopefully no one, hopefully no one, uh, at least uh, that's local to our area is having to deal with mm -hmm. this unless they're helping out with the situation. Yeah. But, but yeah, well, if you, you know someone. Yeah, if you know someone, that's definitely the, definitely the thing to stress yeah. too. Yeah, it's definitely get get in touch with them to make sure they're fine. But otherwise, so let's talk some temperatures right now across the country because there's a lot of excitement going on there. You can kind of tell where the cold fronts park. We're seeing temperatures further down to the south in 70s and 80s already this morning at 554 in the morning and of course all those orange shaded areas there that's the heat advisories there up so we're talking uh, near texas and in the parts of kansas northeastern states anywhere you see orange areas heat advisories that are up so the coverage has dropped off for now but we'll have to keep an eye on that as more could get issued but for now though here we are, a beautiful sunrise here in the north woods this morning, and we will not have to worry about much cloud cover at all, and that is courtesy of high pressure we saw toward the west. So we'll see the sun and a lot of it today and also tomorrow, and really, I promise you, the radar and satellite's working and see all the activity off towards the east. But yeah, high pressure is helping to keep things clear, sinking air, keeping the clouds away, all the precipitation. The bulk of it is actually in parts of Missouri and moving to the south at this point, though, so those areas will have to be ready for some showers and storms. But for us, though, a nice day. Any fog that's developing this morning, we'll get out of here with a mostly sunny sky. And real quick, your next three days, not too bad. Mostly sunny today and tomorrow. Storms move in Saturday afternoon. And as you saw, maybe some heavy downpours with those again, too. We do need the rain, so we'll definitely take it, though. The grass mm -hmm. still brown in some mm -hmm. areas. Hopefully this rain is enough to kind of get the grass growing again, though, yeah. because whenever we get the grass dry like this, I know me as a meteorologist and maybe the DNR would agree with me here. We'll have to see. Um, fire danger. I know mm -hmm. usually we see right. our, our peak fire danger in the spring months because the snow melts but the foliage hasn't grown in yet but the foliage is dead yeah that's right. not good right so we'll definitely have to keep an eye on that of course the rainfall any rain that we can get definitely will help out the situation friend. we always rain, want sunshine rain is our friend i know it doesn't help schedules out but i think at this point i'll take the rain over too much dry weather yeah oh definitely I agree. but a little bit of sunshine too for sure if you can Fix it. <laughs> mix, mix it in a little bit. Okay, we'll try to mix yeah. it in. We're kind of over the extreme. We'll try, yeah. we'll try, we'll try to be fair here. <laughs> of course. And next on Newswatch 12 today, the Wisconsin DNR gears up for deer season. We've got that story. Plus, a coffee shop in Lac de Flambeau is working to bring more business to the area. That's coming up in the next half hour. But first, you're waking up with Newswatch 12 today on NBC. on Toyota's national sales event. Wait, they have until September 6th. Get 1.9% APR for 48 months on Toyota's most popular 2022 models. Toyota, let's go places. I'm Tim Michaels. The radical left, they're destroying everything we love about America. And too many establishment Republicans, they're along for the ride. Tim Michaels, Army veteran, endorsed by President Trump. I'm not some career politician. I'm a self-made Wisconsin businessman who doesn't give a rip about the special interests or their money. I'm Tim Michaels. I'm running for governor to turn Madison upside down and take back the freedoms that make Wisconsin great. Tim Michaels for governor, endorsed by President Trump. 
Change it up and choose Dutch Boy from Menards. Get the best quality Dutch Boy paint at the best prices. Pick out the perfect color. We offer free custom color matching and tinting to create thousands of color options. And with Dutch Boy's easy opening, smooth pouring container, and no prep, no prime formula, transforming your home has never been easier. Save 11%. And all Dutch Boy paints now at Menards. Save the date, Friday, August 5th from 10 till 2 p.m. Advanced Welding Institute in Eagle River is having an open house. Music, food, and beverages. Meet our instructors, staff, and students. Huge auction in Aqua, Wisconsin. Ford Mustang, Mercedes, Willys Jeepster, Ford Truck, Antiques, Sporting Goods, and more. Contact Brass and St. Louis Auctions for more details. Come join the fun at the Sainer Street Fair, Sunday, August 7th from 10 to 4, featuring arts and crafts show, food, touch a truck, and kids' activities. Live music from two bands. Looking to add warmth to your home with a new gas, wood, pellet, or electric unit? Look no further than Trapper's Fireplace Gallery in Eagle River, carrying the best selection from Heat & Glow, Quadrifier, Simplifier, and Vermont Castings. From complete installs to service to maintenance, we have you covered. From the Dahlquist family you've trusted for over 50 years, visit their showroom, Trapper's Fireplace Gallery in downtown Eagle River. Welcome to the family. The sun is setting on Toyota's national sales event. Wait, they have until September 6th. Get 1.9% APR for 48 months on Toyota's most popular 2022 models. Toyota, let's go places. Eagle Floor Covering in Eagle River, locally owned and operated for over two decades. With over 40 years of combined quality sales and service experience, we can help you find the right floor for your lifestyle and budget. Right now on Newswatch 12 today, the Wisconsin DNR has made a change to its system ahead of the deer hunting season. Plus... If you're looking for reasons to get outside, we have plenty of reasons. Your full forecast is coming up. And Tomahawk will soon be implementing new ordinances in its city parks. It's Thursday, August 4th. Your local news and weather from where you live. News Watch 12 Today starts now. Good morning. Thanks for waking up with us today. I'm Kathleen Amanda Perez. And I'm Jackie Smith. Lac du Flambeau is a tribal community of less than 2,000 people. In turn, it doesn't have a ton of business. But as Newswatch 12's Morgan Johnson tells us, there's one more establishment downtown. We're probably going to take this out. Coffee, boba, and ice cream. Paula Freilich assumes everyone likes at least one of those. Every day we bring something new. Freilich is a tribal member in Lac du Flambeau. She cares about the community so much that she took on the challenge of opening a small business to give the area a boost. The stars kind of aligned for me. I was able to um, get this beautiful location and, um, and it's just a great opportunity to start bringing back businesses and revitalize um, Black to Flambeau. On June 28th, Freilich opened Blend and Brew on Peace Pipe Road. Right away, she saw the void she was filling. Our community is um, lacking in different retail and different um, things of this nature. So the community has been very supportive and excited to see something new come into the area. Paula says she's heard a lot of customers say they used to have to travel for coffee. Customers like Jessica, who now can get coffee right in town. Used to have to get up early to get coffee. So now that it's two minutes down the road, I don't have to get up as early to get coffee in the morning. Holton's new daily morning stop is at Blend and Brew, which gives Freilich the business she's hoping for. I would like to be here for a long time and years to come. Someone say, do you remember that little ice cream shop that we went to on vacation? And just to bring memories, just a really pleasant experience for everyone. Reporting for Newswatch 12 in Lac de Flambeau, I'm Morgan Johnson. Hopefully we're going to have a good experience and a pleasant one with the weather, I hope. Mm -hmm. Bring it over to Devin in the weather center. I know it was a little hot yesterday. I know we took our group picture and we were all sweating. Is it going to be that hot today? But if it is, it's at least going to be nice. Yeah, not only was it hot yesterday, but man, we were just squinting too because <laughs> we were facing right toward the sun. So it's like, ah, get sun get sun yeah, the eyes were just hurting. So yeah, that, that kind of hurt a little bit too, but it'll be a good picture once it gets developed and everything. But meanwhile, though, we have more sunshine out there this morning. And 
that's either a mixture of clouds or maybe a little bit of fog off toward the distance this morning. So we're watching a mixture of some uh, fog and maybe a little bit of clouds and a lot of sunshine too. But everything's looking pretty quiet right now, especially as we look toward the satellite imagery here as we have high pressure off toward the west, keeping things nice for us. And it will stay nice through tomorrow. So you have two days of nice weather to get outside and really enjoy things. It's packed the sunscreen though. That sunshine can still pack a punch, especially for your skin. Otherwise, a lot of the storms are in parts of Missouri tracking to the south this morning along that cold front though so a little bit of a rude wake up call in those areas this morning the temperatures right now are in the 50s and 60s out there so not too bad as we start things off a little bit more refreshing as the dew points have since dropped but otherwise though the winds not too bad again they're pretty quiet out there a few areas that are around three to five miles per hour maybe close to 10 miles per hour in a few spots and again those dew points more comfortable out there we're in the 50s even some 40s further off toward the west and those dew points will stay down today but your forecast for today is to have the door it's going to be a nice one though we'll make it to the lower 80s this afternoon we'll be under a mostly sunny sky have the sunglasses and have the sunscreen ready the Wisconsin DNR is be beginning to sell bonus antlerless deer harvest authorizations prior to the start of the hunting season. The bonus authorizations will be available on August 15th. Formerly known as tags, the bonus authorizations will be sold at a rate of one per person a day until they are all sold out or until hunting season actually ends. This system allows for more opportunity where deer are more populated in certain areas versus other areas where the population is more conservative. Hunters looking to purchase will need to know the deer management zone unit and where they intend to hunt in, as well as whether they intend to be on private or public land. And Tomahawk is implementing new ordinances in its city parks. The Tomahawk City Council approved an ordinance to make the park in Washington Square alcohol-free. People using the park for events can apply for a waiver to bring alcohol into the park. The council also approved banning overnight parking in most city parks. They approved it because they have seen more people sleeping in vehicles or campers in city parks. There will be exceptions for people with valid permits in the Sarah Park campground. The parking ban will run from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. Up next on Newswatch 12 today, it's National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day. And we'll be making a sweet treat to celebrate. Stay with us. We're back in two minutes. Jimmy Fallon has just seconds to give the perfect one-word clue. Shaving. <laughs> mm -hmm. Manscaping. Tuesday, join Jimmy and host Kiki Palmer in the game where you can say any word. Finagle. Gargamel. Well, Virgin. Just don't say. The clue is The password. I made a mistake. <laughs> I said the word. Password premieres Tuesday on NBC. Whether someone is across the neighborhood, across the street, or across the room, you have the power to make them feel right at home. Ritz, a taste of welcome. Visit Wild Berry Market, the premier natural food store in the Northwoods, for all of your organic food and health needs. Grab a healthy lunch on the go, made fresh daily by our deli. Eat well, live well, be well. Wild Berry Market in Minocqua and online. You're injured, you need your money and your life back. You need it now. Don't play games with the insurance company. Get the legal representation you may deserve. This is your future on the line. Tell them. You mean business. I called Hupy and Abraham. They can tell you what your case may really be worth, and there's a good chance it's worth more money than you've been told. It can make all the difference in your future. They got me almost $2 million. Call 800-800-5678. Hupy and Abraham, right now. Lance Truck, Lance Truck, we got the trucks at Lance Truck. Nobody has more used trucks all on one lot, all price to move. So when you're ready to buy your next truck, know that all Lens trucks are fully inspected, certified clean, and can be bought hassle-free online. Go now to LensTruck.com. You'll find over 800 used trucks, all price to move. We got the trucks at Lance Truck.
welcome back as we start things off this morning. We're seeing the beautiful sunshine out there. A little bit of a breeze going down Brown Street this morning. Not much of any clouds at all. So that means a beautiful day is on the way. Sky cam's looking pretty good at this point, though. We're seeing a beautiful sunrise here across the region here. Maybe a few clouds or maybe some fog over in other parts of the distance on our sky cam there. So again, it's a beautiful start here in the Northwoods. But again, there is some fog being reported, though. Visibility levels in some areas are down just a little bit. It's very patchy in nature. There's no advisories of just keep your low beam lights on or definitely keep those fog lights on so you can see where you're going if you do encounter some of that fog. And of course, all this will be going away thanks to the sunshine later on. But otherwise, though, we're quiet in, in the whole state of Wisconsin and off toward the west too, remaining quiet as well. So we have high pressure right overhead. The cold front here is tracking off towards the east. So we're seeing a lot of the storms tracking down toward the south this morning out of Missouri. And there's flat flood warnings there again and some of those storms in parts of Illinois too. So again, more fan fair in places that just don't need any more precipitation at this point. But those temperatures right now are in the 50s here, upper 50s in Landon Lakes, lower 50s in Eagle River, upper 50s in Rhinelander, lower 60s over in parts of the Wausau area. Our average high is 79 degrees, will be in the lower 80s today, middle 80s by Friday and Saturday, lower 70s, a cool down as we head towards Sunday as some rain will continue to move in, though, so not much sunshine there. But temperatures gra gradually rising as we head towards Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, back into the 80s. But otherwise, though, muggy meter time already, so dew points will stay down for a little bit. So today and most of tomorrow will be pretty comfortable, but by the time we head towards Friday night and a Saturday, here we go again, dew points on the rise as we get our next system moving in. We'll get some rain, which will drop dew points briefly, though, as we have a quick system moving in, but a quick rise again, especially as we head towards Sunday before we fall back into more comfortable territory Monday into Tuesday. The winds aren't too bad. A lot of zeros on the map. Other areas seeing about three to five miles per hour, so a little bit of a breeze out there. Those winds will stay down, but the big focus today, the UV index. The UV index forecast for today will be at an eight. Very high burn time of just 15 minutes, so hats, sunglasses, sunscreen, shade will be necessary as you do head out the door to avoid a bad sunburn. Future cast for today, any fog that's developing will be going away. We'll see a lot of sunshine today with a mostly clear sky on the way later on tonight. Then we'll have to watch for more clouds coming up. Not so much Friday, but Friday night into Saturday. Watching for more clouds moving in. Today and tomorrow will feature a lot of sunshine, but again, the clouds approaching as we head towards tomorrow with showers and thunderstorms possible as we head towards Saturday afternoon of the evening time frame. And kind of sticking around through Sunday as well before finally getting out of here as we head towards Monday. So more beneficial rain is on the way. That is the good news to report there, though, in some areas. Possibly seeing up to an inch of rain before we're all finished up. So a few days out, we'll keep you posted about more beneficial rain. But unfortunately, at a bad time, just in time for the weekend. So a forecast for today, mostly sunny, just awesome out there, right? We'll have highs in the lower 80s. That north wind getting out to about 5 miles per hour. Coming up for tonight, though, mostly clear lows in the middle 50s. And the wind overall looking nice and calm. Alrighty, that Northwoods Furniture and Mattress seven-day forecast. Here's the storm. Unfortunately, just in time for the weekend. But it's starting off dry next week. Temperatures in the 70s and 80s. And now, we're going to talk about cookies, right? We are. I decided yes. we're going we're gonna to change the name of the show real quick to Cookie Watch 12. Cookie Watch 12, <laughs> I like that. Because it is National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day. It's a special holiday to my heart. So right. we thought, what better way to celebrate than ice cream at 6 o'clock in the morning? Right. Cookie Sundays. Cookie okay. Sundays. So I, I never make cookies Sundays, so you're going to have to show us this. All right. Yeah. So we have an abundance of ingredients here. We have Chips Ahoy cookies. We have Walmart has these cute little, like, sandwich I, sandwich cookies? I don't really know how to describe them. I think there's just frosting in the middle. What is it called? Sandwich cookies. Sandwich cookies <laughs> yeah. with stuff in the middle. We have ice cream. We have sprinkles. We have Hershey syrup. And then I found this chocolate chip cookie syrup, which I was mm. like, that sounds fantastic. Mm. And then, of course, whipped cream. And so we're very excited. We're going to build. We're going to have a little contest about who can make the best Sundays. Oh, dear. I wasn't prepared oh, for a boy. contest. And <laughs> I, am th I am, like, calling you guys out because oh, I gosh. am a Sunday. I take my Sundays very seriously. Uh-oh. Well, is this going to be like a staple of your breakfast now? You have to have one of these every day. It might be. It just might become who I am. Oh, dear. Right. Now, right. now I'm scared. <laughs> so we're going to start making them. And Kathleen has a little bit about the history of chocolate chip cookies. Well, here's a fun fact for you. Chocolate chip cookies were an accident. A happy little accident for sure. We have Ruth Graves Wakefield to thank for the tasty treat. Back in 1937, she was busy in the kitchen of the hotel she and her husband owned, the Toll House Inn. Sound familiar? She planned to mix Baker's chocolate into the dough, a chocolate cookie, but she didn't have any, so she used semi-sweet chocolate chips instead, thinking it would melt out evenly into the dough. 
Well, Devin, uh, what do you think about that? I think that's definitely. Whoop, don't want to get on my suit now. It just missed. I think it just missed. You see, you there's, every, there's no ice cream on me. It's like the show's going, going so smoothly. Perfect. I know. Every time I say the show's going smooth, something has to happen, right? Last time I said the switcher crashed on us, and now yeah. I'm throwing ice cream at myself. I think I missed my suit, so <laughs> I think we're good. So I'll try another scoop of ice cream You're and and try fine. to be careful. So yeah, stand back because clearly this is a very deadly this situation is a here. Zone. This I'm is staying, a splash zone. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah back up, right? <laughs> <Yep. laughs> All right, I guess All right, you, so, everything is safe. I'm going to stop messing with the ice cream here, so. <laughs> have you guys, like, have, where's, like, your favorite chocolate chip cookie? Like, where have, you, where have you gotten your favorite chocolate chip cookie from? Oh, gosh, my favorite chocolate chip cookie. There's many places, though, but I have to give a local shout-out to Dustin over at CT's Deli. Um, I can't remember his, his exact name of his shop. I think it's, like, some butcher shop. Sh sh um, uh, butcher shop or something like that. Mm -hmm. But it's amazing cookies, though, and uh, it was so filling. It's amazing. I just can't get over it. It's really yummy and they're really filling as well. So uh, definitely a shout out to Dustin. I actually have a cookie at home I still got to eat yet. <laughs> I think mine is this place, and we had it back in my college town called Insomnia Cookies. Oh, really? And that just sounds that just sounds sketchy. <laughs> no, it's good. It's for you know those drunken college nights. I'll admit it. Um, and they're open till like 3 a.m. and they're just nice, warm, gooey cookies. Ooh. I'll just take a tiny bit here because we're running out of time. But yeah, I know. It was in this moment I realized I forgot napkins. Wow. Um, that's okay. But I'm just going to be very careful here. Be oh, boy. Maybe maybe Sharon, our producer, can save the day and get us some I think, napkins. I think I just Sharon, didn't. our producer, saves the day every day. Yes, she always saves the day, yes, though. Helping, helping to keep this show on the rails yes. even, even when we do have a switch or crash or something like yes. that. All right. Ooh, I like so the sprinkles. One last question. Do you like your cookies cold, like like store, or do you like a nice, fresh, out of the oven cookie? Uh, I'll be I'll be honest. I'm okay with both, honestly. Both. But if I had to give one answer, honestly, the oven made cookies are probably the best. Yeah. I agree, especially I agree. like some ch with, um, with some milk, like oh. fresh baked out of the oven with a nice glass of milk. Ooh. Milk is really good, though, and I think we just got the cue that we are out of time. So let's okay. show off our let's show off our, uh, our, our, our small treats real quick. To chocolate chip cookie day. We're gonna post these on our Facebook day. so you guys can vote. <laughs> right. Here we go. I barely vote got some. Yeah, barely got a little bit though. Yeah. But hey, just enough for a taste. Simple is good, right? Right. Right. So anyway, we got some cool stuff coming up in What's yeah. Trending, right? We do. Definitely. First off, coming up in What's Trending, we have quite a few uninvited furry guests showing up at a hotel. Plus, there may be stable enough conditions for humans to live somewhere in space. These stories up next in What's Trending. That's too bad. Oh, this tape. Oh, my mic's still. In my dreams, I have a plan. If I got Senators couldn't tell you the cost of a gallon of milk. Thanks, Ruben. Or how much beef is going up this year. But I'm not like most senators or any of the other millionaires running for Senate. My mom was a teacher and my dad worked third shift. I know how hard you work. And I know that by bringing manufacturing home, we create jobs and we lower costs. If we want to change Washington, we got to change the people we send there. I'm Mandela Barnes and I approve this message. It's Northwoods Furniture's sizzling summer sale going on now. As the summer heats up, so do our sales. Find red-hot store-wide savings at both locations. We have it all. Beautiful furniture and mattresses to fit everyone's comfort and style. Save on select Sealy mattresses, Lazy Boy, and Flex Steel furniture, and more. Enjoy the summer sun relaxing on quality Amish-built outdoor furniture, all on sale now. Hurry in for best selections. Northwoods Furniture and Mattress in Eagle River, celebrating 15 years in business. Need a new boat? Then it's time to trade and upgrade with Alumacraft Boats in American Marine and Motorsports because we need your old one. We need to buy fishing boats, pontoons, and speed boats. So trade in your old one and upgrade into a new Alumacraft boat today. Come check out our huge selection. Or we could help you get top dollar by selling your old boat on consignment. It's time to trade and upgrade with Alumacraft Boats in American Marine and Motorsports. Shawno. 
Roof warranties are all about trust. Your trust in GAF, a time-tested company, and our trust in our master elite contractors. They're trained, licensed, insured, and only they can offer our best warranties. Call Oneida Roofing today. Enter a haven for European-style baking at Boulangerie in Tomahawk. Fresh breads, pastries, soups, salads, and more. The finest ingredients prepared from scratch with a fanatical eye for detail. Simply the best. You deserve Boulangerie. Music every weekend, never a cover, and drinks priced right. TV pool, darts, and more. It's Happy's Pub in downtown Woodruff. Bruce Orthodontics, changing lives one smile at a time. Rhinelander, Manaqua, Eagle River, Phillips, and the greater Northwoods area. Treating patients of all ages. Huge auction, Manaqua, Wisconsin, Ford Mustang, Mercedes, Willys Jeepster, Ford Truck, Antique, Sporting Goods, and more. Contact Brass and St. Louis Auctions for more details. This portion of Newswatch 12 is brought to you by Stone Innovations, Rhinelander, and Plover. Welcome back. It's time now for What's Trending. Everyone likely remembers their summer jobs, but one Colorado girl about to head off to college had an experience she will definitely never forget. 18-year-old life god Natalie Lucas was expecting a pretty calm day at work until ex her expecting mother, Tessa Rhoda, got in the pool at the YMCA. Natalie called for someone to call 911 as she grabbed a medical bag and towels and was right there with the expecting parents. As Tessa pushed, baby Tobin was born happy and healthy on the pool deck of the Y. Now Natalie is off to college in the fall with an experience she wasn't expecting, but one that she'll never forget. As for baby Tobin, he gets a lifetime membership to the Y. And <laughs> definitely the stress, I don't, this isn't the YMCA here in the North, which no, is like right. somewhere else in the, in the country, though. But it's definitely right. very, very uh, something you don't experience very often, though, but... A definitely mm -hmm. good experience with that lifeguard, too, because sometimes you just never know when, uh, mm -hmm. sometimes when a baby will go into labor. Quick thinking. Especially, especially late, later, too. Yeah, quick thinking as well. I mean, you got to help the mother out and uh, help get emergency personnel on the way, too, to help out, and uh, that all went well. No, lifetime membership. That baby said. Any, life mem any lifetime membership, too, and we're fortunate to have a good uh, good uh, partnership with the YMCA here in the Northwoods, too, so we're fortunate we to be able to use there, though. Our facility. No, of course yeah, not. Thank goodness, yeah. I mean, obviously... <laughs> We, thank goodness we were born in hospital. I, I, I was born in a hospital. I don't know about you, ladies, but uh, I was as well. I was, well. So yeah. uh, it's started by uh, good professionals too. And, <laughs> and you hear about people in cabs on the way to the hospital, not yeah. making it there. Even Seth Myers, the wife in the the hotel lobby, gave birth. Oh wow! I didn't, yeah. hear, I didn't hear about the Seth yeah. Myers one. That's, yeah, that's 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 only interesting. I know I've heard I've heard the side of the road. You, you, you've heard of a lot of crazy stories right. too. Mm -hmm. so. Speaking of crazy stories, imagine walking out of your hotel room and just seeing a bear. Just you know, sitting there in the trash can. No, thank you. No. Bears doing bear things, am I right? Bear sightings at the Quality Inn Creekside in Knoxville, Tennessee are a regular occurrence. There's always bears around tipping over trash cans, trying to get past the bear locks. And, you know, they just kind of walk through the parking lot, jump on staircases. And for hotel staff, they see this every day. And they always call the Gatlinburg police. And the police officer tried to scare the bears out of the hotel dumpsters when they do that. Then there's <laughs> videos of a bear actually getting into what is supposed to be a bear-proof trash can. And the staff understands that people want to see the bears, but just remember, if you're ever that close to a bear, be a safe distance. Yeah, be a safe distance yeah. away from bears, too, because they can get angry in a hurry, though. They're very territorial and... Uh, Apparently the bears don't have enough of the bear necessities in order to in order no. to, if they're going around <laughs> stuff. Uh, I had to bring up that phrase from Jungle Book, mm -hmm. right? This, I think Disney's Jungle Book. But this isn't our first bear story this right? week either. We've got a lot <laughs> of bear third stories. one of bears gone rogue. It's, it's right. right. And plus, uh, we live in northern Wisconsin. We see bears all the time up here. I, although I haven't. You know, all these stories. You see bears all the time. I have, I, I have not seen a actually, bear. Actually, I have not either. I've only seen one dead bear, and it was it was it was actually someone who accidentally hit a bear Ooh. that was going across the road. Oh, though. No. Well, that sounds like an unbearable experience. Oh boy. Wow. It was a dark subject. Wow. I had to make yeah. the joke. Yeah. Yeah. Let's all boo a Jackie in three, two, one. Oh. Boo. I think I'm funny. <laughs> I'm hilarious. She's just trying to be enlightening in light, I guess. Yeah, right? <laughs> but meanwhile, though, let's keep things rolling here. Is it possible that humans could start living on the moon sooner than you think? I don't know. Let's find this We'll get out. away from the bear.
Bears. Yeah, I know, get away from the Bears, right? It might be thanks to K's, or at least the makings of K's, which have steady temperatures of about 63 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a huge difference compared to the moon's surface, which heats up to 260 degrees during the day and 280 degrees below zero at night. And researcher, research recently published in the uh, journal Geophysical Research Letters shows the moon has pit craters which could be turned into caves, and the stable temperatures there could make them a good place for shelter. And in other words, exploring the moon, eventually living there, would be a lot safer, but being stuck in a cave or facing certain death might not sound very fun. The study's co-author says the new information would help NASA pick up the pace on designing a workable permanent station up there and saying, quote, humans evolve living in caves and in caves we might return <laughs> when we live on the moon. And wow. uh, who knows? So, I mean, yeah, because you hear about uh, the term cave ban from a long mm -hmm. time ago. Right. and. Uh, who knows? Maybe that's moon man? Maybe, or cave moon man. Cave moon man. Cave, cave Too moon. many syllables, in my opinion. Cave surface but, dwellers. I don't know. I wouldn't know either. But yeah, I mean, I, if you're, there's a way to safely live on the moon, obviously you still need to get some, bring some oxygen up. I or check it like out. That. I, see. I mean, Neil, I mean Neil Armstrong got the most uh, priceless view, and uh, and uh, all, everyone else that uh, was on that Apollo 11 mission as well. But anyway, mm -hmm. we're out of time. So more coming up after the break. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Furniture and Appliance Mart. Come see the fresh changes Woodland Creek Furniture has made to its showrooms. There's an ever-changing selection of unique furniture, much of which is made at Woodland Creek's own facility right here in northern Michigan. Did you know we build custom dining tables, vanities, beds, consoles, and more? New nature-inspired accessories are arriving daily, from lighting and lamps to wall art and rugs. You are bound to find that special accent for your home or office. See hundreds of exclusive designs available only at Woodland Creek in Minocqua. Sometimes a job is just a job. But sometimes a job is the spark that ignites a career. Classes and programs at Nicolet can be the fuel to push you further. To earn more and do more. All you need to start is a spark. Creative Kitchen and Bath Studio has designed beautiful and functional kitchens and baths in the Northwoods. When helping plan your dream kitchen or bath with in-home consultation available, they provide 3D drawings of your spaces to bring your visions to life. Owner and designer Sarah has over 25 years of experience, overseen 500 plus projects, and built strong relationships with local contractors providing superior installation. Whether it's a new home or a remodel, Creative Kitchen and Bath Studio in Eagle River looks forward to making your dream kitchen or bath a reality. For a new countertop, make your selection at Creative Granite's Indoor Warehouse in Minocqua. From 50 colors of granite and quartz, work with a crew that will stay with you from measuring and fabrication to final installation. Call or stop by Creative Granite today. Ever dream of a charming toy store with unique toys, games, and puzzles? A store that encourages unplugged and active play, discovery, and imagination. It's real. It's imaginuity. Visit our beautiful new store in Minocqua soon. We have huge news in the daytime, huge news for the daytime television world. Days of Our Lives is moving from NBC to Peacock streaming. Starting September 12th, Peacock will become the exclusive home of the soap opera. It will no longer be available on regular cable or antenna TV. All new episodes of the 58-time Emmy Award-winning drama will debut on Peacock Daily, with the show's library already available to stream for Peacock premium subscribers. Days of Our Lives launched on NBC in 1965. NBC will fill the slot with NBC News Daily, which NBC News promises will prove si actually provide signature world-class reporting and breaking news coverage. You know, this talk to the streaming services. I wonder if the weather's going to be like if I'm going to want to stay inside or stay inside and stream or go outside, but only Devin can tell us. We have Devin on the yeah. weather deck. And Devin, is it going to be some weather for me to stay inside and watch some peacock, or am I going to want to go out? You will want to go outside today and tomorrow. Any peacock, you'll have to wait until the weekend, though, <laughs> as things will be a little bit more soggy uh, with more precipitation on the way for the weekend, more beneficial rain by that point. But otherwise, though, a beautiful sunrise this morning. Temperatures in the 50s outside, lower 60s in Wausau, so we're looking pretty nice outside here across the Northwoods. Radar and Sally showing things are pretty much crystal clear at this point, though, as we have high pressure just off toward the west, so we can boost 
boot up that radar and satellite there. That's what we're seeing there. Things looking pretty decent out there with high pressure off toward the west and the cold front off toward the east. We'll zoom this map out a little bit more. So we're looking pretty good at this point, though. The cold front's off toward our south and east. There's storms in Missouri that prompted more flash flood warnings again. But again, that area of high pressure near parts of Minnesota and the Dakotas moving in our direction, which equals some nice weather. That'll be on the way. Your travel forecast for today, lower to middle 80s with a lot of sunshine. We'll be in the lower 80s as well. Plenty of sunshine in Rylander and Wausau and also in Green Bay. And further down toward the south, not too bad, though. We'll see temperatures in the 70s and 80s. I hear the music in my ear. That means it's time for the birthday club. Are you ready for something new? At Cost Cutters, we'll give you a look that will have you listening to lots of compliments. Buy products you love this month at Cost Cutters during our buy one, get one half off sale on all leader professional products. Remember as a kid, if you could dream it, you could do it? Well, you still can. Now during the Ford Summer Supercharged Sales Event. And with great offers on select Ford vehicles. Just move on. You'll not only bring back the fun, you'll supercharge it. So when the sun goes down, you'll just be getting started. Now place your order and lock in 2.9% APR for 60 months on select Ford vehicles and you're protected, even if rates go up before your order comes in. I spent my career as a teacher, principal, and superintendent. Never in a million years did I think I'd be in politics. But when I saw the last administration cutting millions from our schools, demoralizing teachers and dividing communities, I knew I had to step up. Quality education for our kids matters to me, and it matters to the future of our state. Now, folks, I'm not the flashiest guy around, but I'll always do the right thing for Wisconsin. Huge auction in Aqua, Wisconsin. Ford Mustang, Mercedes, Willys, Jeepster, Ford Truck, Antiques, Sporting Goods, and more. Contact Brass and St. Louis Auctions for more details. Take it away, boys. Come join us at the historic Waswaganang Indian Bowl located in downtown Lac de Flambeau Tuesdays through August 16th. Experience the culture and pageantry of Ojibwe powwow, relax to the soothing sounds of Native American drums, and enjoy the vibrant colors of traditional regalia worn by the authentic Ojibwe dancers. Watch and take part of their intertribal dances and come tour our Ojibwe Summer Village Gates, open at 6 with grand entry at 7. Come and refresh your spirit, paid by the Native American Tourism of Wisconsin. The Manaqua Dragon Boat Festival is roaring back on August 20th. Register your team now for a day of fun at Torpy Park on Lake Manaqua. No experience needed, all equipment provided. Music every weekend, never a cover, and drinks priced right. TV pool, darts, and more. It's Happy's Pub in downtown Woodruff. Love your career. Cost Cutters will support you in achieving your career goals. With competitive wages, great benefits, and up to a $2,250 sign-on bonus. Stop in or visit CostCutters.com to find your nearest location. So we train with fire departments, EMS agencies, and law enforcement. And the big goal with this is to increase safety around the aircraft and to increase the effectiveness and streamline the response. Right now on Newswatch 12 today, a local fire department gets trained for air medical services. It's plus. All righty, things are looking nice out there too. What does the day hold today and even tomorrow? Your full forecast is coming up. And Park Falls is awarded a $375 million utility grant. It's Thursday, August 4th. Your local news and weather from where you live. News Watch 12 Today starts now. Asperis is making sure local fire departments in the North Woods are prepared for anything. Wednesday night, Aspirus trained the Pike, Pike Lake Fire Department how to land air medical services. It's part of an effort to help direct medical helicopters and expand where they can land and in turn expand the area of services these vehicles can reach. So we train with fire departments, EMS agencies, and law enforcement, and the big goal with this is to increase safety around the aircraft and to increase the effectiveness and streamline the response. 
Flight paramedic Dylan O'Connor says the main benefit to having firefighters trained on how to land these aircraft is better communication and understanding between the paramedics and ground control. The ground crews then know our limitations as far as the helicopter, where we can safely land, what we need as far as resources from them to ensure safety. We also learn more about the capabilities of the services that we're interacting with and kind of get to know some familiar faces. Aspirus hopes to expand training to other fire departments and EMS services in the Northwoods to help provide emergency service across the state. And then we're going to toss it over to weather. I know we were a little hot yesterday. I mentioned earlier we were taking a group picture and it was sweat and squint. That is. Yeah, we were just we just trying to get our bearings, and hopefully today we can get our bearings as far as the weather. Maybe too, hopefully not too many changes in store. Bring it over to Devin in the weather center, and Devin is sweating and squinting. Going to be in our forecast today. Uh, yeah, unless you have sunglasses <laughs> ready to go, we have plenty of sunshine as well. This big ball of light in the sky called the sun. Ah, uh, nice to look at, right? A nice way to start things off here on a Thursday morning. Looks like either some clouds or some fog off in the distance as well. There is some fog developing in some spots this morning, but otherwise. Look at this. We're very nice, very quiet. I promise this thing is working. You see all the activity off toward the east. But we have high pressure off toward the west. It's keeping things nice for us. And these storms that are developing are weakening a little bit, but now moving into parts of Missouri and just down toward the south. There were some storms in Illinois, too. Flash flood warnings are up for our, these areas, though, because of those storms that have moved through. Those temperatures right now are not too bad out there. We're in the 50s, upper 50s over at Lander Lakes, lower 50s in Eagle River, middle 50s and lower 50s in parts of Tomahawk and Merrill, and lower 60s over in parts so the Wausau area, the winds, not too bad either. There are, most areas are calm. Other areas at about 5, maybe close to 10 miles per hour. Generally out of the north to the south, it will keep the wind out of that direction today and staying rather calm too. And of course the dew points, they're down as well. So that means the air is more comfortable to be outside in. So a perfect day to do any grilling today. Get outside and do it. We'll have a lot of sunshine today and temperatures reaching for the upper 70s to lower 80s. Thank you, Devin. We're learning new details on the deadly home explosion in Crescent. The Oneida County Sheriff's Office says 34-year-old Jared Haug was killed in a gar garage explosion Monday night. Authorities say the explosion happened while Haug was making fireworks inside his garage. The Sheriff's Office says none of the ingredients at Haug's house were illegal and his actions were legal. They are ruling the explosion accidental. A 25-year-old man charged with firing a gun at a deputy will head to trial. Zachary Swartz is charged with attempted first-degree intentional homicide, first-degree recklessly endangering safety, and 11 other counts. After a preliminary hearing Wednesday, a judge found enough evidence for the case to go to trial. Swartz was involved in a high-speed chase with an officer last August. When he was stopped, he exited the car and shot at the deputy. Court documents state Shorts actually shot at the deputy because he wanted the deputy to kill him. The deputy was not injured, though Schwartz and his passenger were taken to the hospital with injuries. A date has not yet been set for an arraignment and trial. On Wednesday, Governor Tony Evers announced a $3.75 million investment for infrastructure fixes to support water conservation efforts and safe drinking water for the city of Park Falls. The investment will help address the utility's rising operating costs. The water utility has faced a significant shift in demand following the closure of the local paper mill. The grant will help the city install a new water mains, make water tower improvements and other infrastructure fixes meant to save water, prevent freezing water lines in the winter months, and ensure reliable water services for the city's residents. The grant is funded through the American Rescue Plan Act. Merrill has appointed two interim city administrators. During a closed session meeting Wednesday night, the Merrill Common Council interviewed three internal candidates who applied for the interim city administrator job. The council approved appointing the chief of police, Corey Bennett, and the city engineer and public works director, Rod Aki. They will be acting as a team to fill in once the current administrator, Dave Johnson, retires on October 4th. The city will then choose a new person to permanently fill the role of city administrator. And there will be a road closure next week in Lincoln County. County Highway D in the town of King and Harrison will be closed to all traffic. This will be between Highway 51 and County Highway B. The closure will begin on August 9th. There will be no marked detour. Please find an alternative route for travel. And the Wood County Parks and Forestry Department wants to let people know about an upcoming road and ATP trail closure on Hazelnut Trail. The closure will be between State Highway 173 and Rangline Lane. This closure is tentatively scheduled to occur on August 15th and will last for approximately one to two weeks. This closure is necessary due to ditch cleaning and timber harvest activities near the trail. Please visit the Wood County Facebook page for more details.
been accused of a mass shooting at a July 4th parade in a suburb of Chicago pleaded not guilty during an arraignment hearing on Wednesday. The 21-year-old is being represented by a public defender and faces 117 counts, including 21 counts of first-degree murder. Robert Crimo's parents sat and watched and as at the arraignment desk took place. Kreiman also faces 48 counts of attempted murder and 48 counts of aggravated battery, according to the Lake County State's Attorney Office. If convicted on the charges of first-degree murder, Crimo faces life in prison without parole. There are indications this morning that Senator Kristen Sinema may be looking for some changes to the Inflation Reduction Act being pushed by the White House. The Arizona Democrat continues to be the most prominent holdout. Her party is working to pass the climate, energy, and tax package they say is key to easing the financial burden so many Americans are facing right now. Jay Gray has more on the legislative tug of war. As prices and frustrations continue to climb, a new Federal Reserve report shows U.S. household debt has increased to a record $16.15 trillion. I'm not able to sleep, you know, thinking about what's going to happen tomorrow, that like we have to work more, and then the prices every time are getting more and more high. Many families swiping a lot more to get by. Credit card debt up 13% in the last year, the biggest jump in two decades, with Americans opening 233 million new accounts, the most since 2008. The White House continues to push for relief through passage of the Inflation Reduction Act. This package will cut many of families' biggest costs and act against inflation. The administration getting a boost from a new Congressional Budget Office estimate that the measure would reduce the deficit by more than $100 billion over the next 10 years. It doesn't reduce inflation. Republicans argue the bill is bad for business and working Americans. They will absolutely devastate American manufacturing and in the process impose this tax increase on people of ordinary and modest means. It's a very bad plan. As debate continues on Capitol Hill, so does the struggle for so many families looking for any way to make ends meet. Jay Gray, NBC News, Washington. Coming up next in sports, football season is quickly approaching us. Find out how teams are getting ready to gear up for the incoming season. A beautiful sunrise here this morning. Will the day hold and the rest of the work week hold? Your full forecast is coming up next. When it comes to planning dinner, there are three things most of us look for. Any ideas for what they are? It's Slumberland's anniversary sale, and to celebrate, we're stacking the deals. Buy any sofa or sectional and get 20% off your second purchase. Get another 20% off both items. Plus, we are still offering great special financing at Slumberland Furniture. Need a new boat? Then it's time to trade and upgrade with Alumacraft Boats in American Marine and Motorsports because we need your old one. We need to buy fishing boats, pontoons, and speed boats. So trade in your old one and upgrade into a new Alumacraft boat today. Come check out our huge selection. Or we could help you get top dollar by selling your old boat on consignment. It's time to trade and upgrade with Alumacraft Boats in American Marine and Motorsports. Shawno. Don't miss your chance to save big money on patio furniture at Menards. We have the latest patio furniture options in stock, ready to take home today. Dine in style with an outdoor dining set or relax and unwind at a cozy bistro table. Menards is your one-stop shop with all of the latest patio furniture styles at the lowest prices. Hurry in. These deals won't last long. Get 11% off all outdoor patio furniture now at Menards. At Mole Lake Casino and Lodge, get great deals at check-in. Thank you very much. Great deals at the Players Club. Great times in the lounge with your friends when you're ready to party. And specials all week long at the Cafe Manuman, like our Friday night fit for a king fish fry. It's great to be the king. Mole Lake Casino and Lodge, where everyone is treated like a king. It's Slumberland's anniversary mattress sale, and we've got great deals and specials on mattresses. Like a free bedding bundle with select mattress purchases of $5.99 or more. That's two free pillows, a sheet set, comforter, and two pillowcases. Free! Only at Slumberland Furniture.
Amen. Welcome back as we start things off this morning. This is nice, right? A lot of sunshine, maybe some clouds out there too. And you had a little bit of fog developing in a few spots. And you can see that from our sky cam here. A beautiful shot here this morning. It's fun to look at our sky cam this time of the morning. You can see any of the fog or clouds that are in the region kind of moving away. And we are seeing some fog kind of hit and miss in some areas. Eagle River, well, at least where the observation is, probably at near zero. Other areas now down to a half mile. So not lasting very long. The sun is out. So that fog will be going away very quickly. As you do have a lot of sunshine, it's not going away. And the whole state of Wisconsin is going to be enjoying a lot of sunshine today. As high pressure will be moving in from the west going toward the east as a cold front here is moving away too. So other areas like Missouri seeing some showers and storms this morning as these track to the south. They're going to be seeing more of these storms though. And again, they're moving south with, of course, plenty of flash flood warnings too as they cause a lot of rainfall there. Plenty of humidity in the air. But for us, we're on the dry side. And that means high pressure is going to be in control for us for the next day or so. Temperatures right now, not too bad out there. We're in the 50s and 60s. Very comfortable to be outside this morning. Lower 60s in Wausau, upper 50s over in parts of the Mosinee area. 57 degrees over in Arbor Vida. Our average high is 79 degrees will reach for the lower to middle 80s the next few days, though. Then a sharp cool down by Sunday into the lower 70s, middle 70s Monday, back in the 80s as we head towards Tuesday and Wednesday. So kind of all over the place from above average to below average to near average. So you get the general idea. A lot of that will be on the way. Dew points are going to be down, though, today and tomorrow. So a little bit more comfortable. But later into the day on Friday, getting close to Saturday, that means dew points will be up into the 60s and possibly 70s. Again, here's that lesson right there for those wondering what those lines mean. We'll see that drop off as we head towards Saturday as some rain moves in. And by Sunday as well, those dew points on the rise again. And by Monday into Tuesday, things begin to fall off. The winds are not too bad either. They will stay calm today at around 5 miles per hour overall. Maybe a quick wind gust up to 10 miles per hour. And that'll be about it. But the big focus today, as you do have out the door for anything, will be the UV index forecast, which is at an 8 today. Very high at burn time of just 15 minutes. So hats, sunglasses, sunscreen, shade will be necessary to protect yourself from a bad sunburn. Any fog this morning going away will be under a mostly sunny sky today. A mostly clear sky later on tonight. I promise Futurecast is working, as you can tell. And really, it just means nice weather for us. But clouds approaching as we head towards Friday night into parts of Saturday, though, as we watch for our next system that will be approaching, bringing some rain to some beneficial rain. We definitely need it. It'll be in late in the day on Saturday and the afternoon and lasting through the evening. And most of Sunday as well before that finally begins to get out of here. And we definitely do need the precipitation still. What we had recently was definitely very helpful, but we do need more and more precipitation on the way. It looks like our guidance model is pulling in new data, but still seeing about the same up to an inch of rainfall possible between now and when things begin to wrap up as we head towards Monday. So your forecast for today, mostly sunny and awesome out there today. Highs in the low 80s at North Wind getting up to about 5 miles per hour. Later on tonight, mostly clear lows in the middle 50s and the winds overall looking nice and calm. And the Northwoods Furniture and Mattress seven-day forecast. There's the storms just in time for the weekend with temperatures in the 80s and 70s. We're dry starting off nice week with a mixture of clouds and sun temperatures in the 70s and 80s. It's about that time of year. Football season is only a few weeks away, and teams are starting to practice again. I know a lot of people are excited to have football back in their lives, especially our sports team here oh, yes. at News Watch 12. So what team did you go check out yesterday? It's August, so you know what that means. Football is officially back in North Central Wisconsin. I cannot contain my excitement. Today's like Christmas morning for me. I went out to Lakeland Union yesterday to check out how the T-Birds are preparing for this upcoming season. And the energy this team had was absolutely electric. After posting a 3-6 and six record last year, the T-Birds are looking to have a big bounce back year with the help of an abundant amount of returning seniors. Starting quarterback Braden Wecheck thinks that the experience will help bolster a huge amount of leadership that will translate to wins. We got a big group of seniors with a lot of experience that we've been playing with since we were really young and for this whole, for our whole high school experience so far. So yeah, we have a lot of, a lot of really old leadership coming in that I think is going like, to carry us a long way. This team has a chip on their shoulder from their performance last season, and with that chip comes a list of goals to be contenders once again. Our defensive unit is going to be really shut down this year. We have a lot of guys that are really athletes, so goals for me are just things like tackles and the way that we communicate on the team. Last year was a little rough on the communication with the lack of guys that we had. This year are so, so many guys that such good communication, such good lockdown mentality. 
Wecheck and Wagner kept mentioning one game in particular that they were looking forward to this year, their season finale against Rhinelander at home on October 14th, where they're looking to bring the Axe back home for the first time in three years. Their season kicks off on August 19th against Edgar High School in Edgar. Staying with high school sports, the WIAA announced the recipients for the Award of Excellence. Out of the 39 schools in the state of Wisconsin that won the award, there were two from our area, Crivets and Marshfield. The selection process for the teams was in association with good sportsmanship from players and coaches, excellence in communication skills from athletic directors, community involvement from teams, and overall performance from teams and individuals in competition. Congrats on the award and good luck to the teams in the upcoming seasons. The Milwaukee Bucks first round or the Milwaukee Bucks rounded out their coaching staff Tuesday with the hirings of Vince Lagarza, Blaine Mueller, and Damari Carroll as assistant coaches. Lagarza was most recently an assistant coach with the Utah Jazz before taking this job, and Carroll it was a former NBA player for 11 seasons, most recently with the Houston Rockets. The Bucks also announced that Charles Lee was promoted to associate head coach, and Sidney Dobner will be the team's head video coordinator. The Brewers dropped a tough one on Tuesday against the Pirates 5-3. They were looking at for a shot of redemption last night in Pittsburgh and almost found it. Christian Yelich extended his hitting streak to 12 games now, and the crew picked up back right where they left off. But they found themselves tied in a very entertaining ball game, needing an ace of a closer to help them win this game. Well, that's a good thing they've got all-star Josh Hatt. Oh, wait. Josh Hader was traded a few days ago, and the Pirates used that hole in the lineup to walk it off in the ninth and win 8-7. Sad news on Tuesday coming out of Los Angeles. Famous broadcaster Vin Scully died at the age of 94. Scully was known as the voice of the L.A. Dodgers for 67 years before retiring in 2016. He's called many historic sports moments, especially baseball. My favorite was the Kurt Gibson walk-off home run call in the 1988 World Series, even though I wasn't born yet. A man whose voice we know all too well. Rest in peace to Vince Scully. Back to y'all, Kathleen and Jackie. Thank you, Saul. Coming up, fair season is in full swing with another fair opening today. But first, Howard is in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen with a recipe for chicken spare ribs. Mr. Food Test Kitchen is brought to you by Golden Carrot Jewelers and Creative Kitchen and Bath Studio. When it comes to planning dinner, there are three things most of us look for. Something that doesn't take too long to make, something that's going to taste amazing, and last but not least, something that's not going to break the bank. So today, we're making a dish that tastes like pricey spare ribs, but actually starts with boneless chicken thighs, which are very budget friendly. We start by browning some boneless skinless chicken thighs in a skillet with a bit of oil. The key here is to make sure the skillet is hot so the chicken gets nice and brown. While they're doing their thing, we make an Asian barbecue sauce by mixing together some water, soy sauce, ketchup, in cider vinegar. Now to give it even more flavor, we mix in some brown sugar, chopped garlic, and ground ginger. We give this a stir and pour it over our brown chicken. We let them simmer, turning them every once in a while so they soak up all that flavor packed sauce. We'll thicken this up by adding a combo of cornstarch and water, then these guys are ready to serve. Maybe serve this over some rice so you don't leave behind any of that sticky flavor packed sauce. To get the recipe for what we call chicken spare ribs, all you need to do is visit our website. Believe me, I know you'll be glad you did. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a no bones about it way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Mm. You can't make summer stand still, so make the most of every last second with a new Toyota at Toyota's National Sales Event. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, our no-cost maintenance plan and roadside assistance. Toyota, let's go places.
Here in Wisconsin, too many homeowners endure frustrating and costly window problems. The ones who do something about it, well, they call us. Renewal by Anderson of Greater Wisconsin. Call today and save big. We are your full-service custom replacement window solution. We have been replacing and installing windows in Wisconsin for over 10 years. Our windows are made with Fibrex composite material, which is vastly superior to vinyl and won't warp or bow. Every window is custom built in the USA. Low maintenance, installed by our certified master installers, and comes with the nation's best warranty coverage. We handle everything locally from start to finish and beyond. Call today because this savings offer only lasts for a limited time. Installation is always included. Plus, right now, get no payments and no interest for 12 months. Don't miss out. Schedule your free in-home consultation today. Oh, great. My wireless bill just went up. Hmm. Should have gone with U.S. Cellular. They aren't raising prices on any of their plans. Seriously? Yeah, my price won't increase. Well, that is refreshing. I feel like everywhere you turn these days, prices are going up. Supply chain got us too. Don't get me started on the overhead cost. At U.S. Cellular, every plan for everyone is price protected. You know, I respect a female entrepreneur. U.S. Cellular, where every plan is price protected. You can't make summer stand still. So make the most of every last second with a new Toyota at Toyota's national sales event. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, our no-cost maintenance plan and roadside assistance. Toyota, let's go places. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Northwoods Furniture, Eagle River. You're watching News Watch 12 today with Jackie Smith, Kathleen Amanda Perez, and Devin Biggs. Well, it's that time of year. The Wisconsin State Fair kicks off today at the State Fairgrounds in West Dallas. The fair will run through August 14th and will be open 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. during the week and 10 a.m. to midnight on weekends. Adult admission is $15 and parking also will cost you another $15 a car. There will be an amazing amount of vendors and food and stalls and as well as lots of fun events throughout the fair. There will be BMX trick performances and tons of live music check out everything at the fair this weekend and for more information that would be the statefair.com for all the information mm, i think that's wistatefair.com no so basically in other words wisconsin state fair .com, right. google search or something like that too there's plenty of information out there too a lot of fairs going on mm -hmm. my hometown's county fair is going on right now they just crowned the new fair queens earlier this oh, week as right. well in fact one of the people i do know that goes to my home church back home so uh oh. congratulations to her emma stolzenberg is her name back home in lincoln illinois so shout well, out, sh to, shout out right. to her Congratulations so on the weird. The fairs happen so early here yeah, back in yeah, Washington no, right? near me. It's like September. Early? That's late for you. That's, early, that's, that's yeah, late. early here. Yeah, late for me. Yeah, I'm always, mm -hmm. always used to like July yeah. and August time frame for the fair. That's when ag is at its peak or just about at its peak. Yeah. It shows all, all the ag that's going on. All well, the, we also all the like animals. get really, really, really hot. I so know, right? We'll probably well, not get to the fall. For sure. But. This is a whole new world for me. I've never been to state fair, so mm. here we go. Maybe someday. <laughs> but meanwhile, though, let's keep things rolling here for the sake of time. We have your trivia question coming up for today. Um, what is the term for air that is lifted up into a thunderstorm? Is that term warm air infection, cold air gamming, updraft, or downdraft? These are all real terms. A lot of the answer when we come back. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Builder Service Incorporated, Elko. Most senators couldn't tell you the cost of a gallon of milk. Thanks, Ruben. Or how much beef is going up this year. But I'm not like most senators or any of the other millionaires running for Senate. My mom was a teacher and my dad worked third shift. I know how hard you work. And I know that by bringing manufacturing home, we create jobs and we lower costs. If we want to change Washington, we got to change the people we send there. I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. What kind of popcorn do you think you want today? Hi, Tom. Hi. I'm here to fill my bucket. That's great. I'd like you to meet our new owners, Jim and Pam. Hi, nice to meet you. Cheesy Carl. Same great company and products, just with new faces as the owners of Monaco Popcorn and Puffs. 
Southwoods Accents, located in Mercer, features a wide variety of high-quality custom log and rustic furniture, all made in the USA. View our best craft living room sets. Handmade products from local craftsmen. Denali blankets to warm your winter. All products have year-round low prices with no sales pressure. The owner is available to assist you with any questions. Stop by Northwoods Accents, 5079 U.S. Highway 51 in Mercer. My thoughts on laser therapy, is, to me, is awesome. I mean, it, it, it really, really made a big difference. Every time I came here, I, I noticed an improvement. I mean, I was starting to do things that I couldn't do a week before, and, and uh, so I'm, I'm totally grateful for it. Integrated Pain Solutions got me back to my normal trucking and equipment handling life. Thank you. Welcome to Patchouli Garden in Park Falls. We love authentic Indonesian patchouli and we specialize in our original custom blends. Everything with the Patchouli Garden name on it, we make right here in our store. Visit Patchouli Garden in the store or online. Come out to Northern Pines and leave the cooking to us. Have a cold drink and relax as you enjoy the beautiful view of the lake and great food. Try our Friday night fish fry and seafood buffet. Come out to Northern Pines on Butternut Lake. Huge auction in Aqua, Wisconsin. Ford Mustang, Mercedes, Willys, Jeepster, Ford Truck, Antiques, Sporting Goods, and more. Contact Brass and St. Louis Auctions for more details. $40. Take it away, boys. And a special birthday shout out to our Monaco Popcorn winner this morning, Sue McPartland from Eagle River. Happy birthday and congratulations. You win a half gallon bucket of gourmet popcorn from Monaco Popcorn. Oh yeah, and what is the term for air that is lifted up into a thunderstorm? Any guesses? I'm going to say updraft, and like I said, if I was saying in the break, if it's the term downdraft, I'm going to be very upset. Yeah. I said C as well, updraft. Hey, both of you all right. This is, I think, the first time we've had both of you right on all, so far since you started, so congratulations, mm -hmm. ladies. I have a little graphic here that kind of describes hail. Is air going up into a storm? It helps to form hail, as you can tell. Hail forms when you have uh, water going up into a freezing layer, it freezes, and it goes up and down with the updraft, though, between freezing layer and, and not frozen, so that means more ice can